Hello, my beautiful friends. This morning's rune is Rado, which means ride or journey. And it's spelled a few different ways, but this is the way I spell it. But you might see it spelled other ways. So, what does it mean? Well, it literally means a phys usually a physical journey of some kind, but it can also mean a spiritual journey or an emotional journey. We have other stones that also mean that, but this one is usually about actual travel. Um, Rado meaning wagon wheel, um, ride or journey. So, um, you know, rhythm and order, how things, you know, like when, if you think about a trip, you plan it and then you have a map and you're, you start here and you go there and you end up somewhere. There's a terminus, you know, so there's, there's a trip, right? It's not haphazard. You're, you're planning it. Um, sometimes those can be spur of the moment. Some of those, you know, sometimes they can be planned. Um, communication and connection, transformation and growth. If you're talking sort of about a spiritual journey or a religious journey or that kind of a journey. And then strength and perseverance. If you think about like the Oregon Trail, one of my favorite games to play. Um, I actually, I, the, the, the source for that is open source now. So I do that. I manipulate that game with my students and then they do other things with it. But you, you know, you plan out, you know, how many, how many oxen are you going to take? And then, you know, are you going to get dysentery along the way, right? What kind of strength and perseverance are you going to need for that journey? Fate and destiny, whether you're meant to go on this journey or not, balance and harmony. So there are some journal prompts here for you of, you know, things that you can think about, your journey of yourself, the rhythms of your life, how communication, um, you know, has helped you get through a situation, um, how you, how, uh, transformation through travel and you know if you follow the channel i'm you know very tied to my connections to iona in the inner hebrides of scotland you know that was a transformational journey it was very much a pilgrimage for me um whereas i think for other people you know it's like great to visit places like i would probably um you know go visit paris but it wouldn't be it wouldn't necessarily be a um pilgrimage for me it would, I, I love to travel but you know that would just be me visiting whereas I don't know, it was very transformative. You know, you can write about overcoming obstacles. You can talk about destiny and choice and, you know, the journey that you're on, what you, you know, right now I'm teaching American realism, which is all about how um, you don't really get a choice and how fate works, right? You read a novella by Stephen Crane called uh, Maggie, A Girl of the Streets, which I have a link below because it's um, out in the dom public domain. And, you know, it's all about how, like, society really determines the choices that are available to you. And then, you know, contrasted to the previous movement, which is the American Romantic tradition that says that you are, you are the author of your destiny, right? You, you through free will, you get to choose, um, you know, how things end up. Whereas in realism, you know, society determines your fate. So you can write about that. And then you can talk about pathways, which, of course, in the Druidic tradition, all about pathways and blue blazes so if you're a hiker you know there's the main trail and then a blue blaze or these you know little side trails that you get to go on and sometimes you know they are rewarding and you, you get this amazing vista and they're just gorgeous or one of my favorite uh blue blazes on the at is it takes you to a, a beaver dam and you can you can determine whether you want to go through the beaver dam which is disgusting but worth it or if you want to go around it um you know, they're, they're just different choices that you get to make. And sometimes, you know, you might like, you might take a blue blaze and think, oh, I'm going to go see this, you know, I'm going to go see this summit and you get there and it's just foggy and there, it's, you don't get to see anything. And of course you can't just wait there until it clears up. You got to get moving. You got to get on, on the trail again. So you take that blue blaze and it amounts to nothing, but, um, but the experience, right. And the lessons that you're supposed to learn. So that's the Rado stone. Our next stone will be Kinez. So I'm going to go work on that and I'll be right back. All right. See you soon. All the best in light and love. Bye-bye.